Hi friends! It is time to do some ink swatches. So these are um, some ink samples that I got from the uh, amazing and wonderful Mand B ink splat. I got to meet her this past weekend and it was fantastic. We had good food. The company was even better. Didn't think that was possible. Wait, no. What? Look, I'm saying things poorly. This is the third time I've tried to start this and we're just going for it. She's awesome. Everyone was awesome. The food was incredible. Let's go. So I brought her a long overdue sample of the San Francisco Pin Show ink. Um, I've had that set aside for her for like approximately forever and finally got it to her. And I did not expect anything and she over delivered. All right. And when I saw what was here, I almost cried. So, so we're going to swatch. I, um, I'm very excited here. So we got lots of swatching things happening. Supplies, utensils, paraphernalia. But let's do this. Uh, so I have my Hobonichi Weeks that I like to do swatchy things in. By the way, I you may have seen spoilers from my current link. I already, this is now empty. My quick, it's, it's the best thing about those pins. You go through ink so quickly in them because they don't hold very much. But love it. Um, so we're going to draw on this page. Draw? Yes. Why not? You can call it drawing. I have the usual accoutrement. Hey, I didn't use that word earlier. We used so many other words, but not that one. And I like this clicky pen. It's no G2, but it's, it's nice. Let's turn this upside down. And you can kind of see it. Don't get any um, ink in my wine, okay? Wine is an ink-free zone. Unless you're using the wine as ink. Um, why do I make videos at the end of the day? My brain is always in like a million places. Okay, here we are. First up, Ferris wheel press, iron ore. This is an Atlas Stationers exclusive. She recently did a video swatching these, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at you. Yeah, let's put you here in case you blurp. That's the back of that. These are the backs. I turned them upside down. Interesting, y'all. The back is a different texture than the front. Let's try the back. <laughs> I hope you heard that. What was this called? <laughs> Ten hours later. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, friends. Apparently we're writing very big. <laughs> it's fine, Maria. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Beautiful. What did we say this was? Ferris wheel press? Atlas. So, this is only the second time I've gotten ink samples from a friend. <laughs> I feel like such an imposter. It's like such a part of this community. Here I am. <laughs> I 
I did say Atlas, right? Well, I wrote Atlas, so let's hope that was right. Um, a, uh, another friend of mine, Sarah, has offered samples before, but I'm like, yo, I have too many. I'm pretty sure this had shimmer in it. But who knows anymore? We're shaking it anyway. And it does say Atlas. Good news, everyone. I wrote the right name. Okay. Oh, gosh, that's delightful. I think this side of the paper is not intended to be the front. I could be wrong. It's the back based on how the holes were punched. The holes were punched from the other side. But the sizing on it, I don't know, the finish feels different. I'm like, so timid. <laughs> like I don't wanna waste anything. What am I doing Oh, over here? You're doing great, Maria. Great, great. Thanks for that. Thanks for the pep talk, Maria. <laughs> I don't remember telling my friends that on Twitch that I should... The, like, I just wanted somebody to tell me I'm doing great even when I'm not. I don't remember s expressing that thought to them. But they started doing it and it actually... Let me, let me be honest. It feels great. <laughs> Look, do you see it's like sunk in more? I don't know. It feels like that's the wrong side. Um, Are we even talking about ink anymore, Maria? This is lovely. So my lighting isn't great because it's... It's after work, but this to me looks like a, a pretty neutral gray with a nice sh uh, shimmer. Next up, I don't think this has shimmer, but we're gonna shake it. You, I should know, I watched. This is Robert Oster, Oster, Raster. Polar Vortex, also Atlas. Um. So for, uh, Ooh, that was a pretty okay V. For Women's History Month, we're doing a an event at work. It's opt-in, so nobody's forced to do it. Um, where we speak about... The idea was like drunk history, but like not drunk and only women. So we called it Undrunk, Her Story. Don't worry about it. Um, and who do you talk about? There's so many amazing women throughout history whose stories we don't know. Now, I've already picked my topic or I should say topics. But I'm curious, who would you pick? Maybe I mentioned this before and some of y'all said some things. So, I thought, well, I wanted to try and pick somebody that I felt personally connected to. Uh, and then I had the not at all narcissistic idea of doing like history according to Maria. 
or rather, I would find somebody named Maria and do their history. So a famous Maria. And then I thought, why stop at one? There's so many Marias. So, I got stuff in there. So I will be covering various famous Marias. And I've been doing a lot of reading and writing. Um, I am breaking all good research rules and using Wikipedia as my source. But y'all, this is not a class. This is not me teaching graduate studies on Maria. But I'm pretty thrilled with it. There's a lot of Marias that you don't realize are Marias. Because history and people basically just changed their names for them. This is amazing. This is a really, this is like gray, but then it's pink. Love it. It's like my mood. Gray, but then everything around me has some kind of pink on it because of the hair. <laughs> so, I'm not saying which Maria's I'm covering. Maybe in a later video, I'll walk y'all through it. But I am curious, who would you pick? And if you know any famous historical Marias separately, which of those would you pick? Okay, so the next one here is Wearing Gold Twelfth Night, another Atlas Stationers exclusive. Exciting. These are just such great inks to share I really appreciate that because you can, you know, like you only get them from one place. Twelfth has to be like the most awkward word in the English language. Like the most awkward, non-unusual, like non-scientific word, right? Like, I could just imagine, like, learning English for the first time and, and learning about these letters. And, like, L-F-T-H. <laughs> like, you're kidding me. Someone was taking the piss. Oh, excuse me. Extracting the Michael. Oh. Started raining again. Boy, there's a surprise. That's all it seems to do anymore. And I have to be happy about it. It's pretty much legally required of me as a resident of uh, California. <laughs> By the way, thanks everyone who watched my eight pins video and like told me it wasn't too bad me being on the walk. I appreciate your input on that because I was I was really worried that it was going to be like the most obnoxious thing ever. Um, but it seemed fun. Oh man, this, I, I would wear this as eyeshadow. This, did, did Manda say this is a really like countess kind of color? Because this to me seems like a very countess kind of color. And I mean that in the best of ways. <laughs> We're at the time of day where um, I am second guessing pretty much everything I say because I'm feeling like I'm insulting someone. You know, it is what happens when you try and pay attention to a lot of things like that. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I know what pin this is going to go in. I think. I, th I know. Slash I think. Slash does that even mean anything at all at this point. Oh, I was, I meant to zoom in. There we are. We've zoomed. Just in time for us to be done. Um, 
here's these swatch cards. Now, there are two more. I'm not going to make swatch cards of them. Look, you can tell this is the back. Look at how it's all curled up. Fascinating. I'm glad I did that. So this is dry. We're going to write on here just like, just like Manda does. We're going to write MB. And put a little heart because we're happy about it. That looks almost like Mont Blanc. There's something wrong with this nib, isn't there? No, Maria. There's something wrong with your head right now. Okay. You know what's wrong with my head right now? Mm, nothing. This is a lovely trio. Okay, now the other ones. Here they are in Tomoe River. So these other ones I'm going to swatch in here, but I'm not going to make little cards. Why? Well, because I can't get more of them. So what's the point? I don't want to waste the ink. <laughs> so here's this one. Lamy Petrol! Yay! I'm very excited. You know what I'm going to put this in? I'm going to put this in my Lamy Petrol. Not right now, but soon. Probably for 30 inks. Let's do... Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to do a dip. This seems like it's really lubricated. I wouldn't really expect otherwise from Lamy. Their inks tend to be. Very excited. And you might have noticed at the start of the video that I had two pens out. These are going to come into play in a moment. This, this sample, like, I almost cried. Because I feel like, I, I, I feel like I have an idea of what this means. It's Lamy, Lamy Dark Lilac. I know how precious this is. And my heart just grew a million sizes. Um, I did think that what I should do is put all of it in just like one glorious fill of awesomeness. We'll see, I might do that, but I might not. And now maybe you understand why I'm not making swatch cards for these. Because who wants to waste any of this glorious ink? Not me. What I'm very excited about for this is I really wanted to play it trying to make a version of this color. And then also see like which of my inks it's closest to. And now I can do that. I actually meant to ask... Ms. Manda B, if she would bring this swatch card for this. I wasn't going to ask for a sample, but I was going to see if she'd let me, like, look at the swatch card. <laughs> but I am going to cover this up because we're afraid of accidents. I am going to put this in a pen. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to put it in this pen. Wait, it's not this one. Um, But... I think what I want to do is put it in a medium nib. And so my thought is I'm going to put the nib from my cerulean in there because I know from my experiments in February that this is a beautiful writing experience. So I'm going to gently take that out.
which is risky. Twisbees don't, Ecos don't really like having their stuff changed. I still can't believe I have this. And I recognize like it's only ink. It's only ink. But y'all, oh my God, look at it. It's glorious ink. I'm schwitzing up here. My room is warm. I'm probably just too excited by this ink. Okay, let's do it. So I'm not gonna try and do all of it. We're just gonna do some. So I could probably get two separate fills. So not a very full fill. We gotta ration it. I hope that y'all out there understand my ridiculousness or don't even see it as ridiculousness. For those of you who don't know, this ink is discontinued. It was very sought after and it was right as fountain pens were sort of going through a boom in popularity. And so... Um, There wasn't, like, I don't think there was as much of it made as there would be today. And many of us are eager to have this re-released. Like, I don't know why. I feel like Lamy would just print. They'd be, like, printing money if they put this out. Especially if they did a, like, limited time. But then, like, by limited, they meant, like, five years or something. Okay. Um. Oh, it's lovely. Although, I can kind of hear the nib. I gotta make sure it's okay. I hope I didn't switch it. No, it's good. <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Let me ask you a question. When you see the word iron, do you think to yourself iron and then think butterfly? Just a question. So here's our swatchy swatchies. Look, I got water on the paper. Here they are. We're still close up. I hope you like that. So here's iron ore. I'm gonna stand up so I can see my, it's in my camera a little better. Look at that shimmer, gorgeous. Here's this stupid card. Stupid because I was right about it being the wrong side, but I did it anyway. Lovely. I. It's funny, in the camera, no, it's there. I almost see this like subtle undertone of orange, which is perfect. Yeah, look, you can see it. The sheen of like rust. Again, perfect for iron ore because that's like the iron oxide. Um, then we have polar vortex. I'm not sure why it's called this. It doesn't make me think of polar anything. I like it. So the colors that I'm seeing IRL is this darker one is a, a good like navy or uh, maybe blue black and then this to me it reads sort of like a pink in there but it it's actually like a, a lavender 
And you can see in here, this is almost just more universally, well, it doesn't come across, but it's a reddish gray, purple. I, I'm gonna have to see how Amanda described it and see what her eye sees. <laughs> He's just throwing it, sorry. And then th this is over writing on the other side. That's why it looks so funky. Uh, I bet you that's over ice rink. No, it's not. Well, anyway. So this is 12th, 12th night. And this is a, to me, this is the color of blush in the 90s. <laughs> Not to be, no, this is actually older than that blush. This is a, like a dusky rose with a, oh, is a shimmer like, it reads like, to me it's like a reflex blue type shimmer, but maybe also white. Beautiful. Then we have Lamy Petrol, gorgeous. This also has a bit of haloing. It is a delightful color. And Lamy Dark Lilac. There's the gold sheen. So I have some colors that were meant to be like it, but I think they're holding up. My camera right now, let's see. This wasn't meant to be like it, but platinum purple, the sheen's pretty similar. I should have given a sample of that. This Tricolori Gold Sheen Violet is definitely green. <laughs> I was frustrated with it. But, and not quite dark enough. Pillars of Creation. Close, but you can definitely see the difference there. Royal Starfish, too blue. I could see where... These two are like besties. You know what I mean? Either that or because they're kind of alike but different, they're worsties. Like maybe in high school they hate each other because they see each other as competition. But when they meet again as adult women, they recognize that they should just be supporting each other. And then they learn to develop um, a strong relationship based on, uh, you know, trust. And um, women helping each other out. And here's with Naturno Viola. This to me is the closest. It's not the same, but it's the closest. Also, I hope you like the secret world of ink that I'm making up. Um... <laughs> about inks hating each other in high school but you know I'm right if women out there if that resonated with you please let me know <laughs> okay so um I have a lot of writing to do in my journal about the women from my high school days no I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> am I though um and I do actually have to get going to do knit night so, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll zoom out too far. Okay, that's better. And um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. So, let me know. Did any of that blathering speak to you? And also, which of these is your favorite? Which of these are you like, ooh, I want that? Um, thanks again. Bye.